that's all great in theory, you know, on a book. Some engineer saw it on a book and said, yeah, let's do that. That looks good. Well, it sucks out in the field, all right? So let me tell you why. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to talk to you guys about today are hose clamps, specifically Toyota locking hose clamps. Okay, so you have hose clamps like this. You get some pliers and you push them down and you try to get them off and wiggle them off as best as you can. I'm working on a Toyota Camry right now. It's right behind me. But what I wanted to show you, and one thing I hate about these clamps that Toyota uses sometimes, is that it has this locking tab. Now, I know the engineers are trying to be smart and clever because it goes into this part on the other side and it locks into place. And when it locks down, it makes it really easy to move the clamp where you need it and you know, you can place it just right and you can move you can you move you can actually move it with your hands. That's all great in theory, you know, on a book. Some engineer saw it on a book and said, Yeah, let's do that. That looks good. Well, it sucks out in the field, alright? So let me tell you why. Because as you try to collapse this thing with your regular standard tools, be that a pair of pliers, crescent wrench, um, I have uh, one of those long uh, let me just show it to you real quick. Like a hose clamp plier set. This is actually so you can reach down in tight spots and these two little hooks hook onto the hose clamp. I can show you that right now. Put it right here, right there. Close it here. Okay, and look, the hose clamp opens up and you're able to slide slide it onto radiator hose, right? Nice and easy. But let me unlock this one. Hopefully it doesn't go flying. Okay, but when you have one that has a tab, this one still has its tab. You try to use the same exact tool and the tab stops it from fully opening. Well, okay, that one worked because I had to bend it. Well, you can actually see it right there. See, it's bending down, the tab is bending down right here where my finger is. And if imagine that's up. And, I'll, and the only reason that's bending down is because I had to use some huge, um, a crescent wrench, an adjustable wrench to get that thing to collapse and get it off because it was on the very bottom lower hose up against the radiator, so it was a pain. So I hate those things. I hate them. I hate those tabs. A lot of the clamps don't even have that, but a lot of manufacturers think, oh, it makes good sense because it'll make it easier for the mechanics, but it doesn't. So let me show you what I did. So you can see this one right here does not have that tab. Why doesn't it have the tab? Because I cut it off. I took it to a grinding wheel or I took, I took a cutoff wheel and I just zapped it off. Boom, got it off. Now this one, this one is that looked exactly like this one, but when I cut it off, I cut too deep and I cut, you can see right there, I kind of cut under the side and I cut too close. And when I tried to collapse it, just part just went fl flying off. So my suggestion to you is if you get frustrated with Toyota self-locking hose clamps, like I did, take them to a grind wheel and cut that off, a cutoff wheel, and cut that tab off. I'm gonna cut this tab off, I'm gonna cut this tab off too. I'm gonna I'm gonna raise it up a little bit, get this to stick out more than a 90 degree angle, and I'm gonna slice it off, just like Caitlyn Jenner did. So, there you guys go. I couldn't find anything on YouTube or the internet that really talks about this, but uh, you, you, you saw guys using like two pairs of pliers, one here, and then he collapsed it with a crescent wrench, but that's ridiculous. I don't even wanna deal with this anymore, so I'm just gonna cut them off. All right, there, there you go, guys. Hope this has helped you out. If you've been frustrated with uh, Toyota self-locking hose clamps like I was, go ahead and cut the tabs off.